Phoenix's turn to pick. And Slardar can't really chase. Because in the sprint, we won't be able to go past. Big surprise. Not really. Our shake is sitting only on uh, five last hits. Hello? That's the dead bane, by the looks of things, or no? Or no? Glimpse? Does he have the vision? Does he have uh, no range? But he's still dead. Nicely First done by Ned. Nicely done by taking blood. over. Slada, spin forward. There's a crush off. Goes for Ned here. Is there an iron shell? Yes, there is. Can he get away? He gets a fish on his face and he will end up going down. Oh, hi. Yes. I mean, he smoked on the reward, but oh, that's a bit surprising. Did not see that that happened. Smoked right in there. M won't be able to get out. We'll just die. Uh, they were obviously not paying attention to that ward. In the meantime, Mushi gets a Sonic Wave in the face and not saved just yet as MP with a double damage and just finishes him off. In the meantime, the strike. I mean, some double damage room sitting on bot lane, nobody picks it up. MP is on his way there though. Ooh. I decide to bring forward if he sees the mid one is in danger of dying in the meantime. Darkseer goes back on the top lane. Still no Omni Slash used, but they could get. I will not. MP, double damage in his pocket. Wants to take down the invoker. The invoker gets the kill. He is so dead though. He is so dead. There you go. So is Pino Pain. Fisher just in case. Glimpse back. You will, will go down as well. Jumps forward, but will indeed jump into Mushi's. Moving from the side. Waiting for the right time. This might be the right time. Some strike there as well as in that go slam. Okay. I think he died, guys. 10 minutes into the game. As he has been hanging around mid a lot. Now, being an under level as a bane doesn't matter that much, but you do want to get some form of levels there. As he gets glimpsed back into the kinetic field, he will be uh, going down here again. By the looks of it, there you go. <laughs> Can I do something here? Fisher coming out. Static field as well. Rev tries to keep you up with his glimpse straight away. We'll end up going down to the hands of Ohio. And he cannot keep you out this time. Gets crushed, gets every five damage. Gets his talent up still. But in comes the PA jumping forward. And it's actually start on. People middle. Ohio and Net are completely blind. Is there an Echo Slam? Yes, there is. Can I feel Static Storm as well? Bane and Queen of Pain already dead. Now Ohio. Trying to go for Grab together with the Gen Army will be able to pick him up. Disruptor still ended up going down. Radiant the Phantom Assassin is under attack. He did go uh Roshan has fallen to the dark. Disruptor. Two for Rev. Trying to back off, but I don't think he can. I mean, look at the control that Fnatic has over the jungle. Look at the vision. Raiding jungle is theirs. Oh, glimpses back on Bane. Only time he's there. As well, they want to try and take down Net. They can. Bane is dead. But it's, uh... It's Dyer that gets this one again. They get the ages though. TA last one alive. Gets tornado up in the air. There is a follow up. So not nice miss or right. I know he can't Radiant do anything about that, but they're at least missing a lot. There you go. That's the fight. Was able to just get everything there on that bottom lane for free. Just not worry about a thing. Gloom's back. Dead. You, you're dead. But Queen of Pain then started roaming, and since then. Yeah, since MVP can't be in their own jungle, they're just in the jungle of the dire side. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough though. Where's that glimpse? Not there anymore, already used. The Queen of Pain actually coming back and next. He has to feel it once again. He is the one going down once again, maybe. Maybe this time. Omni Slash gets interrupted. To do. Radiant structures are fortified. You've already teleporting out. We'll go back to the to the bot lane. Look for a kill maybe on the juggernaut who's stuck around sticking around. 
Oh, PA jump forward again on that poor, poor disruptor. Tornado though, mid one maybe trying to make something happen. This PA is doing a lot of damage though. Mid one running again, but he gets being jumped on. Double kill already for QO, but he's the only one left alive for his team. Because in the meantime, oh high ground. Oh, coming into the jungle once more. Fnatic. I mean, they have that ward there. That's two kills. Hello, Ohio. Stop this from happening either. I mean, at this point, you just have to wait and hope that Fnatic will give them some opening somewhere to actually do something. Maybe they can do this. Smoke top. Trying to surround the tier one tower. They come in. Up on mid one, he lives for the moment. Will use himself up in the air, dodges the Sonic Wave, but that will still end up going down. Oh, really? No. Yes, he will still end up dropping. So does Chris. He gets to go step around, but I'm sure he's going to try to teleport out. And he will. He will. The other side is there. Hugo in a lot of trouble there. Will die. And maybe this is the chance to turn it around. Ohio, stuck in a nightmare. Has got, of course, a blink they're going to force out. The glimpse is back. That's Bane. And Bane uh, will try to uh, bring Sap net, but will still end up going. Um, I think we'll have them soon. Battle Fury is gonna be the next one. Vacuum into a crit at that point is gonna be very scary. Can okay, be turned on. Bane is already dead. No surprises there. This poor Bane. He's died ten times. <laughs> Wait a second. They were still fighting on the back end. Kinetic field is too fast. Doesn't happen. Have anything there. Oh, crit. One crit almost kills off Ohio. Queen of Pain there to finish the job. Omnisite is there though. DJ. Go step for the moment. Still was crushed. MP. We're looking to come back. We can make sure that he still goes down. We're now looking to run away for the moment. Chris is taking quite a bit of damage from forever here, but the kinetic field no does not lock him in. He does take a lot of damage and we'll get a glimpse back right now. In the meantime, QO is still trying to finish up the invoker and this is the first fight that the MVP Phoenix is actually looking like winning. And the reason for that B is that the fight is just happening everywhere. This is such a chaotic fight. Disruptor dies to the Dark Seer. Well, Dark Seer dies to Disruptor. QO now maybe Gen Creeps going on him. P a chance in this game as we do have maybe a very sad. Juggernaut, he has got it on his side, he's got a scotty as well, but he's surrounded by enemy heroes. Has got it on his side, there he goes. Jumps around, where did he go? There he goes. Kills up the dark seer, has some illusions there, confused on, is still having the amplified damage. Sonic Ray hits up on the 10 in the meantime, he has been making self scars. Will still end up going down. MP though, taking a lot of damage from this Earth Shaker. And the Echo Slam is there. Debbie, Tornado EMP. Where the tornado, not tornado, Yule and Meteor is the one that you went for, and that is gonna be the gem on that. The only one that didn't die that fight is the main! Giving up a fight to take it back with what seems to be like a juggernaut that was basically just throwing himself at the enemy heroes, turned out to be just bait. And he's just very tanky, very difficult to take down, so they knew they had enough time to get the rest of the team of Fnatic in there to help him out and kill off. Team of MVP Phoenix and two lanes of racks have been taken down. Or they should defend the high ground rather than the tier two. Just, or unless they can make sure that they have a pick of oh. Okay. Mushi with the plays. Echo Slam comes out as well. QO is the target here. He has got a BKB. Tries to jump to DJ. DJ has got a hand of God. Will use straight away. QO is dead. In the meantime, Sonic Wave hits up on mid one, but it doesn't matter. The GG is there. Because MVP Phoenix is not going to play this game anymore. And I just want to point out that Mushi was waiting on the high ground right here for someone to come over there, which was the Bane. And without the Bane, the control is just not enough. And that is Fnatic taking the first game. I, however, think that MVP Phoenix will win the second game because so far, all the series that we've seen from them, they've lost the first game of the series, but come back in the second a lot more strong. So we'll find out if it will be Fnatic that takes the game 2-0, takes the series 2-0 and secure themselves a place in the Shanghai Major, or if MVP, according to my prediction, will take the second game to force out the third game. We'll be